Hi guys, I'm Dan Magnus, professional football freestyler, and I've teamed up with ABSSP to give you another skills tutorial. Let's go. Okay, so to begin with, what we're going to do, we're going to work on our ball mastery skills with the ball on the ground, then we're going to go into some freestyling, okay? So just to start off with, okay, we're going to work on dribbling the ball back and forward using just one foot at a time, okay? So I'm going to start with my right foot, and we're going to go like this. So we're going to take a few steps forward, and then we're going to put our foot on the top, and we're going to bring it back, okay? So a few steps forward, opposite foot on the top, and we've got, okay? So there, little roll. Roll it back, use your opposite foot, forward and back. You guys give it a try, let's see how you get on. Off we go. Another way we can do it if we're struggling, okay, is we can start to use the insides of our feet like this, roll the ball back, yeah? If we're struggling to just use one, but if we can, there, little roll back. Bring it forward, a little roll back. Keep working. Okay, good stuff, and hold it there. All right, this time then, we're gonna see how many times you can get back and forward in 10 seconds, okay? All right, so we're gonna use, we're gonna use one foot to go out with, okay? Bring it back with the same foot, change foot, go out a few steps, bring it back. Now, I don't want you to go too far, only three or four steps forward, three or four steps back, okay? Three, two, one, off we go, 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Hold it there. Well done. Great stuff. Okay. I hope you guys um, kept score. All right. What I want you to do every time we practice, have a little go at it. Time yourself 10 seconds and see if you can beat it. Okay. So now we've worked on moving back and forward. Now we're going to work on it going from side to side, okay? So all we're going to do, we're going to use one foot to go out. We're going to go inside of the foot here, outside of our foot to come back the other way, okay? Then we're going to change feet. So we're going to go outside of this one, inside, okay? Then it'll be inside here, outside, yeah, outside there, inside, okay? Off we go, try to move the ball side to side. If you're struggling, just use the insides of the feet there. Pull it back across, one way, back the other. Keep it going. Keep going. Well done and hold it there. Okay, brilliant, all right. So now then, all we're gonna work on is this. We're just gonna be shuffling the ball between our feet we're going to go back and forward, side to side, okay? So we're going to be here, both feet all the time. So we're going to go there, forward, we're going to go back, we're going to go side, go to the other side, go forward, go back, go to the side, go to the other side. If you have a few markers or things you can put down on the floor, they can be really helpful for this as well, okay? To just put them out in like a little, little square, all right? And it's there, so we're out here. And back, off to the side, off to the other side. Forward, back, to the side, to the other side, yeah? Keep going, keep working. Well done, and rest, hold it there, great job, okay? I hope you guys um, are working hard. By now we should get a little bit of a breathe on if we're working hard enough. Yeah, our legs are nice and warmed up now. Okay, so this time what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on what we call four different step overs, okay? So it's gonna work like this. So we're gonna go around the ball one way. I'm gonna use my other foot to go around this way. I'm gonna come back across that way. I'm gonna change my body angle and go back. So it should look like this if we put it together. We're gonna go one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. You guys give it a try and see how you get on, okay? I'll continue to do it. I'll speed it up a little bit now so you guys can see. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep working 
outside ones first, one, two, then we're going across and back across. Keep going. And hold it there. All right. This time, okay, I want you to count every step over. We're going to go for 10 seconds and we're going to see how many you can do. All right. So we're going to go for it in three, two, one. Off we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hold it there. Okay. So every step, okay, we're going to count, all right? We'll do it once more. If you're anything like me, I lost count a little bit then, all right? So try to remember in your head how many you've done. All right, we'll go for it again. Three, two, one. Off we go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, one, and rest. Okay, eight, 12, 20, 22, I believe. I got to 22, see if you guys can beat it, all right? Don't worry about it if you can't, just keep remembering. The more we do it, the faster our feet will become. If we lose control of the ball at any point when we're doing it, just get it and pop it back down and carry on, okay? Good job. So moving on from there then, all right, what we're going to do now, we're going to work on a couple of different ways of getting the ball off the floor, using just our feet, okay? I say this all the time, there's so many ways of doing it. First move we're going to try, okay, for this one, we are going to start with the ball, with the ball next to our foot like this, okay? So it's not too far away, all right? All we're going to do, we're going to put one foot on top of the ball, and we're just going to roll it in towards this foot, and you'll see what happens. We go there, roll, Bounce and kick, all right? Show you once more there, roll, it bounces, and we're kicking. If we can, try to take the bounce out as well. So we go there, we roll it in, off the foot, and we kick the ball up, all right? Give it a little try. I'll continue to do it so you guys can see. If you need to there, foot's on the ball. Little roll in, kick. Once more there, little roll in, kick. Yeah, keep working guys, keep it going. Well done and hold it there, well done. All right, so that's one way of getting the ball off the floor. Um, another one we can do, we're gonna try this one now. So we're gonna start with the ball in between our feet. We're just gonna lift one leg off the ground, okay? So we're gonna go here, we're gonna lift. As we lift, we're gonna drop the ball onto the floor, it should bounce and we're gonna kick it. So we're gonna go here, Lift up, let it bounce, and kick, yeah? The hardest part of it is getting this foot. Once we've lifted it, we need to come back around to lift the ball up. Don't worry if it bounces a couple of times, that's fine. What we wanna try and get is this there, lift, let it bounce, and kick. Off we go, let's try it. Good stuff, keep it going. Well done. And rest, hold it there, great job. Okay, brilliant. So now then what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on our keepy uppies. So this is something that will really help you with your control in the game. Um, don't worry if you're not good at it to begin with. Okay, just takes practice like I keep saying every week. All right, the more we practice, the better we'll become. The most important thing when we start and keep up is, is knowing which part of the foot to kick with. Now, when we're doing it, I've, I've learned to be able to use most parts of my foot, but the easiest part for me to use would be this part here, so the front part, yeah? Where the laces would be, okay? So all we're gonna do, just to start off with, we're gonna go here, we're gonna drop the ball. As we drop, drop it, we're gonna try to kick the ball nice and straight back into our hands, like this, yeah? One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, keep it going. And hold it there, all right. This time then, we're gonna do exactly the same thing. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to see how many times you can kick the ball back into your hands. Now, 
It only counts if we do this. It counts when we go there and kick. If it hits the ground, all right, that one doesn't count, all right? Just a little bit of fun, so we're gonna go for it. In three, two, one, off we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and a rest. Hold it there, good job, all right? Again, write your scores down, remember them, okay? And keep practicing, all right? Next thing we're gonna work on then is we're now gonna try the same thing with a bounce in between, all right? So hold the ball out, drop the ball to the ground as it bounces, just lift it up and catch. You'll notice my toes are pointing forward, drop, kick, catch. Drop, kick, catch. If you could already do that, then let's try it like this now, yeah? One foot and the other foot. Keep it going. Remember, if we lose control, don't worry. Get the ball, bring it back, and we will carry on. Good stuff. Okay, and hold it there, all right. So now we're gonna to try to learn a little trick. The little trick we're gonna learn is this one, okay. So for this, we're gonna need good balance. So if we place the ball on the ground, we'll get into position, we're gonna go here, lift our heel up, okay. And we're gonna to try to get into this position. If we need to hold onto a wall, okay, that's fine as well to keep our balance. All right, so all we're gonna go here, we're gonna go there, and we're gonna, we can either place the ball in with our hand if we're struggling, or even better, we can bounce it in, yeah? Give it a little try, see if we can do it. I'll show you again. So it's there for me, it's bounce, catch. Okay, good. Keep working, keep working on that balance, yeah? We really wanna have our arm out there. Try to keep balanced on this foot on the floor. Good. Okay, now we're gonna work on a little move from that, all right? If we've managed to do it, great. If we haven't, don't worry about it, okay? Just keep practicing until we can do it. So the move we're gonna try is from here, we're gonna drop the ball, okay? As we drop the ball, I'm gonna try to bring my leg around, let the ball bounce and kick it up. So I'll show you again. So it's there, got the ball trapped, let the ball out and kick and catch, all right? So again, if you need the wall to practice, that's fine. Great job. Okay, I'll show you again there. Lift up, out, kick. Yeah, once more. And there. Let the ball go through the middle of the leg as we go. So from there, we're letting it come through here. Bring our leg round and kick up. It's really important to be nice and light on our standing foot, okay? Keep trying. Brilliant, okay, and hold it there, all right. Great job, so just to finish off with then, we're gonna work on four touches. We're gonna try to take two touches with our knees, two with our feet, so we're gonna go like this. So when we're kneeing the ball, legs nice and high, we're gonna try to go one, two, bounce, kick, bounce, kick, catch, yeah? Or even better if we can, one, two, three, four, catch. Always remembering to use both knees and both feet, yeah? Really important if we want to become better footballers. I'll keep it going, one, two, three, four. If you get really good at it, you can just continue. So you can go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, three, four. Yeah, that's what you'll be able to do that if you practice hard enough and you keep working. Great stuff. All right, well done everybody. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed the session. Keep working hard, keep practicing, and remember, never give up, keep going. Take care.